<laughs> okay. All right, we are leaving the ship in 45 minutes. We'll be, we're in Venice right now, and we're going to hop on a train to Florence. Today is the 13th, so we've been going for 11 days. It's honestly felt like a month that we've been traveling. Today we go to Florence. We're going to do all day of Firenze. And tomorrow we'll find our way to Luca and then to the hot springs in Pistola, I think it's called. Tuscany. Via Florence, homies. <laughs> Give me a camera. <laughs> 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 Now we're all hopped up on 
fear and energy and ready to go see Luca. We're in Pisa because we missed our connecting train because our first train got delayed. Um, and so we don't leave for another almost two hours. So we're walking to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. We are eight minutes away. Walking to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> Happy accidents. Ooh, ooh. It's all part of the adventure. <laughs> There's a marathon taking place right in front of the tower. Hey! Pretty awesome. We are at the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So does it look like it's leaning? Yeah, it looks like it's leaning a lot. closer to the river but they moved it in the 1870s to keep it safe and supposedly it held the crown like the crown of thorns the altar held the crown of thorns thank but you it was beautiful all right so we finally made it on the train we're heading to Luca what a fiasco <laughs> it's like herding cats but this entire trip has been cats but we made it man we know this this train station we know train delay we missed our connector in Pisa so we went and walked the mile to the Leaning Tower of Pisa which was amazing um, and then made it to Luca and walked through the, through the wall to the inner part of Luca and had a really yummy lunch you and walked to the tower and saw all basically Luca and Tuscany and yeah now we're back on the train ready to go home what's today your favorite day yes it's awesome Luca's Monica, those guys hey. <laughs> it's her favorite day because it's her first day with me on this trip. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> How did everybody feel about today? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it a classy.
Um, today was actually one of the nicest places we visited. The small town feel, the locals seemed like they were happy to have us. No one was upset with us being around. <laughs> or being a table of ten. Being a table yeah. of ten. It seemed really nice and quaint. Yeah, it was beautiful. Definitely. Yeah, definite thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Yvette, yeah. did you like today? Absolutely loved it. Did you like your food? I love my food. Remind me of grandma. Oh. So, yes, I did. Food was good. And yummy. <laughs> October 2nd, 3.22. October 3rd. What'd you say, Denise? So we're right below 100. 90. Wow, 95. Three more today. Oh, At wow. least, yeah. That's a saying we don't get lost to or from dinner. We make, we make it 100 before we get back to the apartment. At least a portion of those miles are jogged in train stations. The trains that don't exist. Oh, yeah. If I come to flights of stairs, we're at like a thousand plus flights of stairs. The train <laughs> Pinky out. Yeah, I can't stick this one out. <laughs> well, yeah. I'll plate my hand right here. Yeah. Oh, dog, get behind you. <laughs> Petrified. We've been on a search to find Chantel and Denise's what flavor? Fruité de Bosco. Gelato. And we found it. This is it, the last leg of the trip. It's October 15th, and we are heading to the train station to go back to Rome, and we fly out of Rome tomorrow morning. Don't wanna die. I think we've almost been run over quite a few times. They don't stop stop signs here, I don't know. They sure don't. Hit over a hundred miles, miles walk. Perone, Perone, all of them. You're chone. for the last night before we fly home. Uh, it's a little sketch. We're working it out.